Hello and welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. My name is Eamon Khan. We are here in London. Platform, a gaming centre for gamers like myself, like Joe Joyce. With me joining me, I've just mentioned his name just there, is the one and only Joe Joyce, a gamer. Joe, off camera, you were telling me a brilliant story about how you uh, won your first console or a console uh, off of a competition. Tell me, Joe, how did you win it? Yeah, so my first console was actually a, a Commodore 64 I got from my cousin, but then I actually won a Sega Master System. It was on the back of a Rice Krispies box. There was like a competition to guess a name for like a ninja-based game to do with like Rice Krispies, and I put like Rice Snappers, and then <laughs> lo and behold, like I sent a box to my house with a Master System in it with Alex the Kid on it. So um, that was my first console. What, what a brilliant prize for any kid to get a console. I, I genuinely thought, like I was saying, people never actually won those things, but lo and behold, you did win that. So congratulations on that. And that's what got you into gaming. And I just want to quickly get into, before we get into the boxing, about gaming, because it's really kind of taken off, actually, gaming has, with all the competitions going on, eSports and things like that. I know you're an avid, keen gamer, building a PC yourself. I built myself one too. But what, what are you playing right now? You've talked about Destiny off camera, Elden Ring. What's really taking your fancy right now? Yeah, I always like kind of go back to Destiny. I've been playing it for like since Destiny One, and um, you know I like try out different games for a bit, but then I always seem to like gravitate back to it. Um, yeah, I played a bit of Elden Ring, but then there's a new update with Destiny Two, so I was like, oh, I'll jump back on, and like, my friends are back online as well. So um, yeah, it's good. Like I tried a bit of the uh, VR stuff as well, with, like the Oculus. Like there's that boxing game, there's a couple of boxing games, yeah. Like Thrill of the Fight, it's really good. Yeah. Um, there's also the ESBC boxing game that yeah. I'm waiting to come out. I'm in there, got my character all, all uh, in the system and stuff. And um, some of my movements, so stay tuned for that as well. So your stats yet? Uh, yeah, like uh, endurance, durability is like max. Is it? For yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fair play to you. You're going to be, uh, be a real problem when the people come up with you against you in that game but you're I'm, I'm only joking mate, mate I don't know what the stats is but oh. hope preferably those stats <laughs> is new exciting times new exciting times in the heavyweight division where it's always constantly moving as is boxing as well and they say that so goes the heavyweight division so goes boxing and we've had recently Tyson Fury uh, beat Dylan White in emphatic fashion at Wembley I know you were there I know we caught up with you I believe uh, for your initial thoughts about it but now that Dust has settled on that Tyson Fury is someone who you'll be aiming for potentially if he does get the undisputed titles if he does fight again. Um, but first of all, your thoughts now that just settled on that fight with Dylan White? Um, yeah, it was a good fight. I think, um, yeah, Fury finished it well with that uppercut and stuff. Um, like Dylan White tried to like throw him off in the first round with going southpaw. And I, I thought that maybe he could have built him, built his name a bit more, like with the build-up to the fight and that. He'll probably be getting some of the decisions, uh, to be honest. But like, I mean, he could have like come to like the press conference and like built his name more. But um, maybe price himself out for the deal, maybe. But um, and uh, maybe if he came in and like just bought store for Docs and tried to rough him up and um, knock him out maybe but like Fury is so switched on and you know he's so skilled and got the longer reach that it's, uh, it's a big ask for um, for White mm. like, but at least he got he finally got his shot at the world title so um, yeah and it just uh, uh, just, just goes on from there wasn't there for you and if you win it'll go on from there for you you'll likely find yourself in a position where hopefully you'll be fighting either Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk those are two interesting, interesting fights for you considering you've sparred with Tyson Fury in the past before heavyweights go around they spar a lot of people but that's an interesting spar between yourself and then also the the history between yourself and Usyk sticking on Tyson Fury first of all those spars that you did have can you recollect them can you tell me what they were like and what you learned from those spars with Tyson yeah, so I was um, I was currently at the time with Abel Sanchez up in Big Bear, so it's it's really tough up there. There's the altitude mm -hmm. and and stuff, and like the sparring was really good. It was a fifty fifty spot, fifty fifty sparring. I, I really enjoyed and learnt a lot from sparring him. Is you know being being around him, he's, he's like a cool guy. I get on with him, and um, but yeah, we had some great spars. Him and uh, uh, v, uh, Guido Vianello, the Italian yeah. heavyweight, as well. We had just had great spars all together, uh, mixing it up, 
and um, you know that was just before the what, first Wilder fight. Mm. So like he was just like you know like lost all it like lost a lot of weight and um, like I guess his strength wasn't quite there, but like his skills and technique. I mean like I'm talking about strength that he has now. Like um, from the second Wilder fight when he actually like took it to him and. Uh, and bladdered him or whatever. <laughs> Good work. Um, so yeah, it'd be uh, it'd be a tougher fight now because he's also got the physicality as well, a bit more. With uh, Tyson Fury and his the way he switched up his game now, uh, you sparred a Tyson Fury that was uh, on the back foot boxing. So yeah. do you feel the new stance or new type of Tyson Fury that we see now plays more into your hands than it did before? Or would you expect him to kind of revert back to the old ways if you report him? No, I mean, he was like in sparring. He was coming forward. And when he comes and hits you with different angles, but then I think, yeah, he, but I mean, he can revert back to either style, but either way is a hard fight. <laughs> It's a tough fight because he, he is he is six nine. He's got a long reach and them skills. He can switch and, and stuff like that. He can sing. <laughs> but um, can you? I mean, I could I could I'll dabble, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd have to learn the words of a, of a song first. Like. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> good, good, good. But song. yeah, it, I'd love to. Um, I'd love to have the opportunity to fight him for like a, you know, like a world t- uh, for the for the titles. Like, but I want to get a a world title of my own first so then it can be a, for like, like unifying the, vi- the division or something yeah. I don't know like this let's see what he does because um, you know he talks about retirement but then I've also in the same breath I've heard him talk about um, Ngannou fighting Ngannou yeah. so um, let's see what happens and he might be just waiting for the uh, Usyk Joshua rematch and then he might call out the winner let's see it's an interesting situation, a potential fight between you and Tyson Fury, because I remember when it came to you fighting Dubois, Dubois was seen as the favoured one with Queensbury and Frank Warren, and you obviously upset the gravy train there. Do you think you'd have more shine from Frank this time round, or how do you think that would be kind of played? Because Tyson Fury is the, obviously the, the big star in it, but also it's, a, it's an in-house Queensbury fight too, and you've done what you've done before when it's happened like that before too. Yeah, so it's an easy fight to make, and um, like I guess he didn't put all his eggs in one basket because he has quite he has a lot of the heavyweights. So um, that's also an easy fight to make with Tyson. And um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries, no problem, Joe. Let's look at the other side of the equation: Usyk versus Joshua. Like I mentioned as well, you've you have that um, history that you had with Usyk as someone who's you've fought before any way that Joshua in your opinion can change this up and beat Usyk and if he can how does he do it um, I thought like as soon as the fight started with uh, like him and Usyk that Usyk went straight to I noticed Usyk went straight to work so he knew how to beat Joshua so now that he's already beaten him to beat him again will be like kind of the same thing unless um, Joshua makes some drastic changes um, well, I guess like he did with Uriz and then he could say three times <laughs> <laughs> but like maybe it's all part of the, the plan but I, I don't know um, not really but like it, I think it's a big ask to but I, I don't know let's see what happens like Joshua can obviously bang he's got fast hands and you know decent foot, footwork he tried to I think he fought the wrong fight when he fought him first because he was trying to outbox the boxer um and like I said on multiple occasions he could have just come out there and roughed him up and walked him down and tried to knock him out and I think that's what he's going to have to try and do but like it's it's alright you know saying that but like actually going in the ring with, with someone as skilled like I've shared the ring with him yeah. as well Usyk and, but I thought I'd put on a better performance actually I thought jo- um, Chisora put on a great performance yeah. against Usyk and that was that was a lot closer than the one against Joshua so um, I think it it'll be a repeat unless uh, Joshua could do something drastically different and just nail him down. How about yourself? I mean, you'd also be if you, the other side of the coin was if Tyson Fury wins undisputed, if we get to that, or Usyk wins undisputed, if we get to that too, um, you'd be someone who'd be having a rematch with him. Would you do anything different, or would you like to do something different if you found yourself in? I know it's obviously the amateur game; it's it's obviously a lot more different. But how would you approach that type of rematch with Usyk? 
Well, I've been coming with a lot more skills and I have Salas on my side to set the game plan and work on the skills and etc. And I didn't even get um, Southpaw Spiron for that first fight I had with Usyk. So I think um, on the repeat, Styles make fights, I reckon I'll bang him up. Let's get your thoughts on uh, what happened at the weekend. It was an upset loss, or maybe you don't see it as an upset loss, but a lot of boxing did see that. Uh, Canelo versus Bivol. Um, he moved up to 175 pounds. Didn't work out for him. Great performance from Bivol, nothing taken away from him. Did you watch it? How did you see it? Yeah, I watched it. I thought, um, I assumed that uh, it'd be a Canelo victory, but I didn't really know much about Bivol. Yeah. And, um, you know, he's, uh, he's moved up in weight and. Perhaps his punches don't have the same, carry the same amount of power and stuff at that weight. So, but there's not much um, for him to do in the super uh, super middleweight. So I guess he he, he went up and uh, he lost. But let's see what he does next. I think he was going to call out Triple G again for the third fight. Um, but yeah, I was quite surprised with um, him losing. Why, why were you surprised? Like a lot of people were expecting Bivol maybe to not be as good as he was, but he did prove that he, he was good. Was, were you seeing that Canelo was maybe going to like he tried to target the arm and that was a game plan like he did with Callum Smith? But were you expecting a bit more from Canelo at all? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just like because I you see I see um, Canelo as like a complete fighter. Like you see him like be able to slip shots, avoid shots, and come back with some really damaging punches. So I was um, I was surprised. It made him look quite pretty average. He ma um, Bivol made him look quite pretty average. Like So um, let's see what he does now.